In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step guide how to implement mixture of agents that can run locally. Yay! While this tutorial is going to use old llama to run it locally, you can use the same tutorial, the same code to use if you have got proprietary models like ChatGPT and Claude and other models. A mixture of agents where I've got two models, Mistral and Llama 3, which is being moderated by Llama 3 model and I've got an answer. So this is a very simple setup and we're going to use something called Llama Index Pack for us to enable this. To start with, first of all, what is mixture of agents? So I'm going to just give a very quick primer about mixture of agents. Unlike mixture of experts where every single token is sent to an expert, during the inference time, mixture of agents is a completely different setup. So mixture of agent, what it does is it slots in a particular LLM as a particular layer. So instead of having a one token going to one model and uh, one expert, and then you know you're getting response, mixture of agents slots an LLM here, slots an LLM here. And quickly seeing the description, in our approach, we construct a layered mixture of agents architecture wherein each layer comprises multiple LLM agents. Each agent, even the LLM agent, it says it's just simply LLM. Each agent takes all the outputs from the agents in the previous layer as an auxiliary information in generating its responses. Mixture of a mixture of agent models achieve state of the art performance on Alpaca Evil 2.0, MT Bench and Flask surpassing GPT 4.0. For example, our mixture of agents using only open source LLM is the leader of Alpaca 2.0 by a substantial gap. So technically, this is a good model, a good approach. And uh, this is an approach some might find expensive and more computationally intensive. But I wanted to still try out this and then also give you a brief understanding about how to get started. The first thing that we're going to do is first, you need to have Olama installed because we are using local models. So Olama has to be installed. The way you can install Olama is you can go to olama.ai and then just literally go download it and then start installing it. After you install Olama, let's say you have installed Olama successfully. The next thing that you have to do is you have to do Olama run Llama 3 or you can start with Olama pull Llama 3. I'll link my Olama video for you to understand in the YouTube description. So if you have any issues with Olama installation, you should definitely refer that video and that should do the job for you. After we do this thing, now I've got a Visual Studio Codes notebook here. So this is just like your Jupyter notebook. If you want to do this with Jupyter Notebook, you can do the same thing that I'm doing. The next step is for us to make sure that we have a clean Llama index installation. So that's why I'm uninstalling any existing Llama index, activating a virtual environment. And within the virtual environment I activated, I'm installing Llama index and also Llama index LLMs or Llama. So the first thing, the very first thing that we're going to do is make sure that we have Llama index and Llama index or Llama installed. At this step, you will get an understanding whether you have a successful Olama installation running on your local machine, whether your Olama has a Llama 3 model and whether your Llama index can access that model and run it. The way we are ensuring this is from Llama underscore index dot LLMs dot Olama import Olama and then look for the model. In this case, I'm looking for Llama 3 model and the Llama 3 model. I'm also giving some timeout so that, you know, it doesn't just fail. After I define the LLM, I'm asking LLM to complete, which in this case, I'm just asking who is Paul Graham and it responds back to me with some kind of a response. Uh, it says Paul Graham is a British art dealer and gallerist. He is not a British art dealer. He is actually a VC venture capitalist. But anyways, it's funny that it uh, gives this kind of a response. I can just go ask some other question. Let me quickly check something else. Like for example, two plus two question mark. And as you can see, this is happening now at this particular endpoint, which is happening running locally, the answer to two plus two is four. So at this step, you are very confident that you have uh, figured out the Olama installation. You have figured out the local Llama installation and you have also figured out to successfully connect your Llama index and Olama. So the three important things are done. So just to repeat, we are trying to build a mixture of agents architecture with in local models, only using local models, running locally inside your computer. This is one of the best approaches to have multi models that can help you uh, stack multiple models together to have better result. 
So in this setup, we are using Llama index uh, for us to use a Llama index pack. So, so far we have installed Olama. We have uh, enabled Llama index. We have installed Llama index, fresh installation. We have enabled Llama index to connect to our local Llama model, Olama model. Now, it is important for you to also understand what kind of models you have locally so that you know what are the models that you can do. So you can simply use Olama list to list down all the models that you have installed as part of Olama. If this is the first time that you are installing Olama, you might only see Llama 3 latest. But in my case, I've been using it for quite a while and I've got a lot of models installed. So you can see I've got Mistral, I've got Stable LM Zephyr, I've got DeepSeq Coder and all the other embedding models as well. So this shows what are the models that you can use potentially for your mixture of agents. So for example, if you have only Llama 3, I would strongly encourage you to try Mistral or something like Gemma or something like DeepSeq Coder so that you have a stack of models that you can use. Now you know what are the models that you have in old Llama. The next thing that you have to do is you have to do the mixture of agents pack. So even though that this paper is from a company called Together AI, we are just using Llama index pack to make it easier for us to access mixture of agents. So Llama index packs mixture of agents is what we're going to install. After we have installed it, all we have to do is from Llama index dot packs dot mixture of agents import the class mixture of agents pack. And I'll share the notebook in the YouTube description for you to efficiently play with this. So you are not making any mistakes. The next thing is if you are using Jupyter Notebook, you have to enable the async operations. So we have enabled the async operations. Then we are going to use the same code that we have used before just to create old llama based large language model. So anytime you use large lang uh, LLMs from llama index, you need to define an LLM and we are going to use the large language model that is enabled by Olama. So what we are going to do, we are going to use the mixture of agents pack, define an object called mixture of agents pack. And we are going to use an aggregator model, which is in this case, Llama 3. And we are going to have two reference LLMs, in this case, Mistral and Llama 3. At the end of the video, I'm going to also show you downloading completely new model and then doing the same thing. So if you are kind of like dicey at this point, uh, just wait for some more time. I'll actually show you from a brand new model in itself. But for now, I'm using Llama 3, which I already had. Mistral, I already had. Llama 3, I already had. So these are the two reference models or what they call as proposers. And we have got an aggregator model, which is Llama 3 in this particular case. The number of layers and also the temperature we have defined. Now, after we have this, all I'm going to do is go to this object mixture of agents pack and then run the pack with the prompt that we want to use. In this case, how to reduce anger. And it, as you can see, it took me one minute, 45 seconds for which uh, if I just directly ask the model, like for example, how to reduce anger, it would have taken me a lot lesser time uh, than just going here and then asking. But again, the whole concept here is not, you're not just optimizing for time, but also you're trying to have the best model answering the best question. So this is slightly in line with what we saw a couple of days back route LLM. If you have not seen the video, I'll link it in the YouTube description, but this is a totally different way of stacking the models. So as you can see, it gave a response back to us after the question that I asked, which is how to reduce anger. So now I'm going to show you one of the existing models that I already have. I'm going to use stable LM Zephyr. So let's pick stable LM Zephyr. And uh, we're going to use stable LM Zephyr as one of our models here. So instead of the Llama 3 that I had, I've used stable LM Zephyr. So you can see if you want any other model, also you get to see the size of the model. So you have some understanding about what is the model that you should use. So I'm going to also plugin deep seek coder here. So I've got deep seek coder. So I'm going to just say deep. Okay, I can just paste it. I already copied it. I don't know why I'm typing it. Uh, this is the two models that I'm using for this new pack. And Llama 3 is my aggregator. So I'm going to create this again. And as you can see, the mixture of agent pack has been created. And now I'm going to ask how to reduce anger in Python. Let's see. It's I just wanted to try something. And as you can see here, round one, one by three to collect reference responses. So you can see that round one by three is there. And these are the endpoints it is using. It is very important for you to know that this endpoint is not connected to internet in any way. It is a model that is running on local machine. Also last time when I made a video like this, somebody said, what is the configuration of your machine? I'm running this on M3 Mac, which is an M3 Max Mac with 36 GB RAM. I don't have a dedicated NVIDIA GPU. 
But again, this is just using Olama's um, way that handles it with Mac. So I guess you should be able to run this even if you have got like 8 to 16 GB RAM. And if you have got a dedicated GPU memory, then this might be like a lot better. So as you can see at this point, round one by three collector reference response is done. Round two by three collector responses are done. Round three by three collected responses are done. Now it's going to collate everything together and then give you the best response back. Just like they mentioned in the mixture of agents paper. So we have so far taken one minute, six seconds, and uh, I can just basically ask the same question to my Llama 3 model. So let's see how to reduce anger in Python. I hope it doesn't disturb the one that is happening here. And um, as you can see, reducing anger in Python or any programming language in involves a combination of strategies that in Python. Okay, cool. Um, and then it gives me the answer. So by following these actionable steps, you can reduce anger in Python and improve your overall experience while uh, working with uh, programming languages like Python. That is great. Okay. It, uh, it, I think there might be some confusion here. as a friendly AI, I would like to clarify that reducing anger in, anger in a programming task, ra but rather a human emotional process. Anyways, it's fun uh, to ask this question using Pythonic ways rather than using traditional loops use higher order functions like map and filter. Okay. This is actually cool. Um, I've never, uh, tried to ask philosophical questions with, uh, programming languages, but, uh, it, it is cool. It is cool to see this. That takes us to the end of this video. I hope this helps you in uh, implementing your own mixture of agents. The mixture of agent paper also has a win rate versus cost approach. And they have also compared it with the different parameters. For example, currently we used a single proposer. So for a single proposer, one, two, three layers, how does it vary? So I've not made a separate video about mixture of agents, but if there is an interest, please let me know in the comment section. I will make a separate paper video, but meanwhile, you should definitely implement this on your own and play with this model. It is quite fun to have stacked agents or stacked large language models, not necessarily agents. My apologies that can answer your question and then explore the possibilities of having a family of models together. See you in another video. Happy prompting.